woman is with us the entire show. She's sitting right now between Bill and me. God, I wish I was wearing underwear. Red Eye starts right now. Hey, it's Red Eye. It's like Telemundo, but for Germans. You didn't know that, did you? We're here with Rachel Marsden, Bill Schultz, the lovely Leanne Tweeden, TV host and former cover girl. I remember salivating over you many years ago. <laughs> well, on, you, I guess. on remote, we have <laughs> the lovely Katrina Zisch, yesterday. entertainment reporter, and I believe a former cheerleader. Yes. Yes, yes. And we have it from San Francisco, the legendary comedian, Mr. Will Durst, also syndicated humor columnist. How are no you? No cheerleading, though. No cheerleading. No cheerleading. Oh, I, no. Bet you, I bet you'd be good at it, though. <laughs> I, I, I still have the ability to tumble. I know you do. I know you do. You have the pom-poms for it as well. I don't even know what the pom-poms are. Funny, but joke. the thing is, Will, it wasn't a funny but joke. But that's not a crime to commit an unfunny joke. But, but Will, it's not... It, it's, oh, God, it's, if it were, Rachel, <laughs> you would have been out of here the first Oh, week. Bill, it's so hard being Bill... Uh, what's his name? Greg's picture, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> I have no idea. Hold on to the silence. I have Hold no idea what silence. that means. Are we talking about Le Imus here? I don't know. But do, you, do you hear about this DJ in Pennsylvania that basically did some kind of call in right, contest? He got fired too. He got fired. That is now a little bit. Uh, I think that's more outrageous. Isn't he just for repeating a bad joke? I think that's Come crazy. on. Yeah. His boss it's is outrageous. acting out of fear. I think yes. this is just a lot of people being like, "Oh my God, we're going to have advertisers pull out. We're going to get in trouble. Uh, quick, fire him." And and that's just. Um, that's just wrong. This guy was, was trying to do something funny. It's difficult. Well, actually, you know what? I, I'm looking at his picture. I think he deserved to be fired just for that hair. He's definitely a zoo crew guy. But he did. Mm. And who's he pointing to? He didn't I don't know. Him. That show has lots of sound effects. He should be fired for that hair. And how's his, his hair different from yours? Oh, Rachel. I'm just asking. She's bright enough. Oh. Rachel, how, how long yours? do you spend in makeup? Uh, a little bit, little bit shorter time than you. I don't know about that. I, I want to talk about the Duke, uh, the Duke prosecutor. Finally apologizing about a year too late. It's taken a year. But he said, he said in his apology that no, no uh, dismiss, dismissal of accusations can actually undo the damage. Well then, let me ask you, well, what, what can undo the damage? Money? Civil suits? That's what they're looking for. I'm sure. asking Will. Control. Really? Control. You didn't mention Will's name. <laughs> yes. You just threw it out there and somebody threw <laughs> it out there and we all just were quiet. That's how it works. Thanks right? for the I friends. Well. Already yeah, spiraling out of my oh my God. <laughs> Yes. I want to talk about the Iranian cleric who uh, believes that dogs are evil. In fact, uh, he says he denounced the moral depra depravity of dogs and demanded the arrest of all dogs with long, medium, or short legs. I don't know what he's left out except uh, legless dogs, <laughs> which are technically and how many snakes. Of those? <laughs> right. <laughs> what do you call them? They're dog. not even reptiles. We've got a lot to talk about. A zoo worker is getting his arm reattached after his colleagues recovered the severed limb from the mouth of a 440-pound Nile crocodile. Oh, oh my God. The rascally oh reptile ripped the fellow's farm forearm off when the vet tried to retrieve a tranquilizer dart from the croc's unexfoliated hide. Apparently, Greeny wasn't fully drugged when the doc stuck his arm through an iron rail to medicate it. Luckily, the doctors acted fast enough and were able to save the arm, which they made into a scrumptious fajita. Yum, yum, don't touch the plate, it's hot. <laughs> Next time they want to drug a crocodile, they just send Howard Cade Stern. He'll make sure the job gets done. Yeah. <laughs> well, I thought hey. it was a fake picture for a second. Oh, uh, no, it was real. And, oh, you know, happy we didn't blur that. Andrew, are you ready to do the lovely halftime reports? Oh, yes, ma'am. Please yes, go right ahead. Thank you. Uh, Greg, I've actually just been handed this statement. After careful consideration and much soul searching, as of tomorrow, Don Imus will no longer be part of Red Eye. Oh. oh I feel morally superior already. <laughs> oh, very good. You know you've screwed up when you're getting fired from things you're not even a part of. <laughs> um, hey, Bill, I'm not sure what Rachel called you, but I do know that the reaction was silent but deadly. <laughs> I guess it was accurate. Catch her, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, that's good. Now, I got it's, now, it's, now it's two bleeps. <laughs> oh, sorry. Good job, Bill. Sorry. Um, hey, the last time she was on, didn't Katrina promise to wear a cheerleader outfit? Yes, that's there true. She did. That's what I thought. Mm. Check minus. <laughs> uh, Next time, Katrina. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't uh, see the skirt right now, though. I have half of it on. Okay. Cool. No, she does. <laughs> uh, Busted. Don't, yeah, totally. Um, oh, hey, Leanne, I know you perform for the troops. How do you feel about performing for a veteran? Are you a veteran? Yes, ma'am. Um, well, you'll have to come with me on one of our shows. Not, you have to go to Iraq. not quite yeah, what I had in mind, but okay. <laughs> Sorry, you gotta More go back. Private. Middle ground More is private. middle ground. Okay, fine. 
Uh, an Iranian cleric now wants to arrest all dogs and their owners. But you don't want to know what his plans are for Jewish dogs. <laughs> 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 and uh, Ian Ziering posing for Playgirl. Hey, you know, I once shared an inclined bench with Ian Ziering at Crunch Gym in Hollywood. Really? Is that a true story? Yes, and then we worked out afterwards. <laughs> Gross. Allegedly. Allegedly. Oh, you know what? I actually wrote allegedly. <laughs> the uh, oh, and finally, by the way, Greg, just don't forget to find out what Katrina's excuse is this time for not going out with us. Oh. Okay. Remember the pool? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's all I got. Thank you, Andy. See you, you at the end of the show. All right. All right. What's the end goal of all this, educating orangutans? <laughs> Research. I, I think it's actually us trying to figure out how smart they are and what they actually understand. And, you know, remember when they were talking about the elephant that mm -hmm. looked at itself in the mirror and she had a birthmark and her trunk came up and touched her face because she realized she was looking at herself mm -hmm. and not just uh, most of the time animals think they're looking at another animal. But that's so interesting. But what do we do with that? You know what I mean? Like, well, where does it know. go? Maybe it's, it shows oh, that's where great. we came from. What would we have to talk <laughs> about, Rachel, if we didn't have these experiments? <laughs> this is 90% of the show. Oh, kiss the clown again. Bill. I don't know where I am I right just, now. I don't, I don't, oh, mind, I don't care as long as the animal is adorable. It can do whatever Cute. it wants. Exactly. Back in 1950, this Texas grandmother bought 15 shares in an insurance company. She still holds it. And now it's worth 2 million simoleons, people. She'll turn 100 years old in September and pla plans to pass it on to her heirs. In return, her heirs promise to start visiting and perhaps feed her. <laughs> oh. I know, that wasn't very nice. That wasn't. Let's go to our Fox Senior Correspondent, I always feed her my mom. Okay. How are you? Fine. You know, I saw this thing this morning on Fox News all about this horse mm -hmm. that got into a sinking mud hole, mm -hmm. and, and they, all its head was the only thing that was out. So these people tried to rescue her, and it, they had this big caterpillar thing, you know, uh, I think they call it a hole. Oh, I mean... Uh, <laughs> A backhoe. A backhoe. Yeah, to get the the horse out, and they they find they didn't want to break the horse's legs, or anything. They finally got the horse out. It was so good. Oh, I love happy endings. Mom, why do they shoot horses when they're injured? I never understood well, that. Well, because they're they used to not be able to fix their legs too good. It'd be horrible to not if you were a horse and didn't couldn't move around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, then another thing I was kind of looking at today, you know that that uh, that uh, girl uh, was the accuser of those uh, those uh, those right. jail guys. Yes, the Duke guys. Yeah. Okay, well she has bipolar, and Mary Winkler, who shot her husband, has bipolar. <laughs> Anna Nicole had bipolar, and and and, and Liz Novak had. I think it's contagious, <laughs> and I'm very worried. <laughs> And so when excuse. I go to heaven and God says, what are your sins? I say, I have no sins. I have bipolar. <laughs> <laughs> and go, he's going to put me in a room with a bunch of people in white coats. Oh, those are the angels, Mom. Yo, the good idea. Yes, yes. You know, we, we, missed you, you, we missed you yesterday. What happened? Well, I told you, you know, I think I, well, anyway, well, <laughs> Leslie called me, and I was in the back bedroom, and I answered the phone back there. But then she asked me something. I had to come in the kitchen to get information, and I got on the kitchen phone and forgot all about that dumb back phone. I'm going to go pull the wires out. You go pull the wires out, Mom. <laughs> all right, Mom, we're going to, please, please be near the phone tomorrow night, okay? Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Rachel, love your hair. Bill, make out with more inanimate objects. Great. Greg, stop rubbing your hands. You remind me of my uncle. That's where I learned it, from your uncle. David Longvey of the United States Air Force checks in. I'm deployed right now, and your show comes on at 10 a.m. You guys are hilarious. My favorite part of the show is the halftime report. I think Andy needs his own new show. <laughs> Don't give him any ideas. <laughs> Tim Strang of Moline, Illinois, says, It's great to see the funny side of the news. Actually, it's, it's great to see Rachel's legs. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Eric Hansen of Kennebunk, Maine, writes, This show is news for people with ADD. What was I writing about? Please have on either Samantha Judge, Katrina Zish, or Julia Allison on every night. 
Oh, there you Aww. are. Thank you. She's so adorable. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to wrap her up and take her home. Oh. Right, right. In the back of your trunk. I'll be here after the show. <laughs> Rose Tolliver writes, you guys provide good comedy when I'm feeding the baby at 2 a.m. I wonder what she means by baby. I love the way your news is informative yet so funny. Your mom rocks. She does.